opening up your What are we doing? Wow, you're good at this, aren't you? <laughs> this is Suizio a player, bro. Let's go. I'm about to get poisoned, bro, but it's gonna be alright. 25, 26, 27, 28. This motherfucker not even doing them, bro. He's just sitting there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to some more Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Now, let's just get the elephant out of the room, right? What the fuck am I wearing? All right, look. I've been filming all day long. Um, I, I've and I've been dressed up in a fucking tuxedo. <laughs> the entire dad basically been dressed up in a tuxedo. I'm just trying to be comfortable, bro, because I've been filming all day in that fucking tuxedo with all these dangin' videos. This is the third dangin' video of the day. I filmed God of War before this recording, and this will be the final video I filmed today. So, yeah. Good morning, everyone. <sighs> ha, yeah. Good morning. <sighs> Good morning. <laughs> Maki, you're not saying good morning to me? There's a dark mood in the air of the dining hall today. I mean, I understand why. Three students died. That's to be expected with what we've been through. Three more. We've only got nine left, bro. We started with 16. We're at nine now. In a situation like this. Bro, we got nine, bro. I don't see how we all could possibly stay enthusiastic. So far, these executions have been the best. Well, with two exceptions. Yo! What's wrong, bro? You're not gonna eat? <laughs> if you don't eat, then Gonta will eat you instead, Suichi. Huh? Uh, he'll eat me? Don't you mean my breakfast? You know... Speaking of Gonta, where is he? I haven't seen him this morning. Hmm. He's not here yet. Hmm. He's probably still sleeping. Ah. Why... What's... Why is Miyu keep saying that? The atmosphere is heavy. Everyone's really taking a mental beating. Hey, you guys have no energy. You need to look alive. You're all still teenagers. Huh? Hey, Miko? Okay. Your good mornings are too quiet. It's because you're so quiet that you feel down. Uh. Why does she keep moaning, bro? What is... what? Does she have something in her pants, bro? What is she doing? Hey! I didn't mean you should sigh louder. Weirdo. Weird, <laughs> weirdo. I thought you'd be the most oppressed out of all of us. Hmm. I always be getting paranoid that I'm not filming. Of course, I'm depressed. This is the most depressed I've been in all my 200 million years. What is this? 200 million years? But... But being depressed won't help those who died rest in peace. Tanko and Angie too. If I stay depressed, they won't be able to rest in peace either. Okay. So in order to... In order to make their deaths have meaning, I've decided to live my life with positivity. Yo, seeing Himiko without, without her hat on is, is cursed, bro. So, anyway, please t take care of the new me. Come on, man. You're out of breath already? You're going full speed right out of the gate. Yeah. But it's just like Himiko said. Those of us left need to look to the future and live for all the other's sakes. Yeah, let's cheer up and work hard. This game is just getting started. Huh? I can unplug this game. Oh? Huh? Isn't that what we're talking about? Uh, but now that there's less people, I might be the next victim. Wow. Wow, so exciting. But I definitely don't want to die. <laughs> well, I guess that's the same for everyone else. <laughs> Always You're still around. saying crap like that at a time like... Just then, the door to the dining hall burst open, and... Golly, Gonta, what's good with you, bro? What's good with you, my boy? <laughs> dap, dap up, dap up. Oh, God. Everyone, this is serious. No. It's gonna be the, the words. Oh, no. The colossal high school girl is on the other side of the wall, isn't she? Oh. What? Okay, me... Is that... Is, uh, uh, what's that anime called? You get shadow... What's that anime called, bro? Attack on time. Okay, maybe not that serious, but Gonta went to Courtyard before coming here. Could it be? The graffiti was more added to it? Mm. Yeah, more letters added. Let me see, Gonta. This world... Huh? What? I'm not sure what it's trying to spell. The swords, or maybe this world? It's definitely this world. This world is... This world is not. This world. Hat. What about the world? What's.
what does it mean? Is there some crazy story going on? I'm I'm too fucking fried from filming today to to know uh, what that's saying, bro. I'm too fried right now. It's probably just graffiti, right? We should ignore it. No. I don't mean fried. I I that went the wrong way. I didn't mean it to sound like that. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Do you want to die? Why? Is she, she loves me, bro. What? All oh, right, that's just a habit of hers. My heart skips a beat every time, bro. She's feeling me. Because no one here takes credit for it, right? But now there's more added to it. It must have some meaning. You know... It looked like one of those inflatable, like, car dealership fucking tube things. So, seriously, none of us here wrote it? If this is a prank, you'd better speak up. But... But, going to stumble onto the writing by coincidence, right? If it was a prank, then they would have done it in a more obvious spot, not in the grass. There's nothing more depressing than an unnoticed prank. Oh, I see. It's like a titty no one wants to fondle. Well, it could just be Gonta writing it since he was the first one to find. Gonta never do that. Gonta never make trouble for everyone. It's ungentlemanly. What is that writing? It's trying to tell us something, bro. This world is in dire need of repair. More and more and more gets added. Who's doing it? What does it mean? We don't know yet. I we really don't know, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and try and guess because, like I said, I'm too. Well, I don't really get it, but maybe it's some kind of clue. Well done. Thanks for the report, Gonta. Mm. Gonta, just glad to help. Oh yeah. Gonta want to help, even little. Tell Gonta if you need help with something, okay? Okay. Okay, got it. I'll let you know if I want you to punch someone. Wait. No, you don't need. You don't get to tell Gonta what to do anymore. Gonta. Yeah, Gonta learn lesson after insect meet and greet. Man. Boring. Monokoma, what's good with you? Oh, ho, oh, my ears are burning! Are you guys talking about me again? You must love me! Mm, are you getting dizzy from the face I make when I concentrate really hard? Actually, Your face? It's always the same, isn't it? Yeah. Never mind that, you guys are probably eager for it, right? My prize, that is. Right? You guys can't live without getting a prize right now, right? That's what I thought, so so I brought a prize. prize and tiger sign. It's just her, bro. Uh, and this fucking thing. Prize and shine. So freaking cute. No. Monokuma, you are such like a. Why have you turned into a fucking pimp in this one, bro? I've had enough of them. Hey, hey. Hey, give us some love and two. I want my reward already. Why did you get so friendly with Monokuma, Kokichi? Now then. Okay, okay, the prize this time is... I, have, I haven't seen my room yet. I haven't seen my room yet, so I'm assuming I'm gonna see my room. The legendary Levy Stone, the priceless Octo Brush, and... A card key! Which just so happens to be the motive, too! Motive is a card key. Motive? D did you say motive? Yeah. Yep, this mysterious card key is your next motive. The class. Huh? Screw your carrot and screw your stick. Give me whips and chains all the way. You know, <laughs> a card key is a card key is a motive. What does that even mean? Mm. Some new area you can open with the card key. Is that where the real motive is? <laughs> <laughs> That's a secret! Why don't you use it if you're so curious? Please wait. No, we shouldn't. If we want to prevent another murder from happening... <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> I'll take that card key then. Cookie just used his little body to his advantage and took the card key from Monokuma. No can do that! B but that Monokuma's motive. What if another murder happened? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind that at all, you know. Huh? Because... Because this is the killing game and we're the players. Plain and simple. Why wouldn't the players play the game? Don't screw around. Quit screwing around and just give it to us! No way! No thanks! See ya! Oh. Hey, wait up! Kuhichi ran out of the dining hall, pursued by Kaito. I'm Running in the halls isn't normally allowed, but I suppose boys will be boys! Yeah. Also, yeah. I forgot to mention this, but I've hidden another flashback light somewhere! I wonder what memories you'll uncover next! Happy hunting! Alright, get out of here. 
Get these fucking so bears. Thank Farewell. you. Get them out of here, bro. I'll oh, man, just kill them already. Why the fuck are they yeah. still here? So long. Farewell. Wait. What should we do? Kokichi and Kaito are gone? I'm worried. We cannot leave Kokichi alone with that card key motive. But but aren't you curious about the flashback light too? That's true. Perhaps we should all search together and look for Kokichi as well. Well, it's a good idea, but let us look for a Kokichi while you focus on their search. Logical. Right now, we need your skills as a detective, Suichi. Then... Right. In that case, let me hold on to that. I'll look around again. Yeah! Suichi... Suichi's grown up. He's becoming so reliable. Hey, back off. My... Now that you're so respectable, I'll let you pet me if you want. Hey, yo. Get off me, bro. Actually... Oh, I see. So Suichi gets that honor. Mm. Suichi is so amazing. Goto want to be useful to everyone too. It's okay. Don't worry. When the time comes, we'll use your body as a metal shield. Mm. Okay, Goto. <laughs> Goto, hope time comes soon. No. No, you should hope that it doesn't come. Pause. Okay, where to begin? <clears throat> I'll search for a place to use these mysterious items. Okay. Uh. The brush. Where is my room at, bro? I want to see my room. Look, it's a church. Yo, Tsumugi. Uh, here we go again, bro. I think Tsumugi's a fucking... I think Tsumugi's the, the goddamn... Uh, I think Tsumugi's a traitor, bro. I think Tsumugi is a traitor. Uh, oh, God. This is her room. I kind of want to go in, because she, she a little freaky. She got some bitch. Hey. This has a completely different feel from the fourth floor. Huh? huh? That door over there is just plain suspicious. Could it be? Yeah, it's your room. This looks like an ultimate lab. I should check inside. It's Tumugi's room, bruh. She about to go crazy in this hole. I'm already knowing. Mm. This is amazing. It's like an event venue. It must mean this is the ultimate cosplayer's lab. How you feeling? Um, even with all these materials and tools, if it's by myself... Hmm. I see. Cosplay's fun to do with others, right? Yeah. There's no point doing it by myself. Do you want to try? Hey, Suichi. Low-key, bro. Let's do it. Hey, Suichi. Do you want to give it a try? Come on. Try cosplaying with me. Let's do it, Suichi. Huh? M me? Let's do it, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just plain fun to become fictional characters. To become a completely different person and feel like you're part of a different world. Let me do it. Right, right? Doesn't that sound interesting? Don't you want to live in a fictional world? But... Ah, but I'm investigating right now. Come on, dude. Just take like three minutes. The three-minute break. Oh. Then let's do it later. Let me know when you feel up to it. I'll help you become your favorite character, whether it's from an anime, manga, or game. You can't! However, even if you're just trying it out, you gotta cosplay with love. Uh, okay. Right. Alright, just bet it up, bro. I'll definitely be back here, uh, Tsumugi. I don't know when, but I'll, I don't know how they want me to go about that, but I'm definitely gonna be back here, bro, for sure. Because I'm already knowing some freaky shit, bro. This looks like a bar. Is this a set, too? Yeah. Well, what do you th know? It's just like the real thing. Somebody spoke cheerily and sat down at the table in front of the counter. Hey! Hey, Suichi, are you thirsty? I can make you one of my signature cocktails if you like. Ooh, okay, I bet. Huh? A signature cocktail? Yeah. Yeah, it seems like all the drinks here are top quality stuff. <laughs> I used to make them a lot. <laughs> okay, sorry, okay. I used to make them a lot at my part time job. Don't worry. It'll be non alcoholic, of course. Then. Okay, I'll take one. Let's go, bro. Suichi, let's get it. Opening up your. What are we doing? How would you like it? A little stronger, maybe? Huh? Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, he's like, huh? He's like, huh? Uh. Oh, yeah. Sure. Right. We were we were talking about a drink. Wow, you're good at this, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker, Suichi, a player, bro. Let's go. Yeah. Before I got sponsors for my cosplaying, I worked a bunch of jobs. I can tell. I used to say to my customers, I'm in the mid of financial trouble. If only someone could help me out. Yo, she she stripped down for some cash, bro. What? What is this feeling? I suddenly feel charitable. Okay, it's ready. I'm about to get poisoned, bro, but it's gonna be alright because I'm going out in a fight. Thank you. Bro, this is What kind of part-time job did she have anyway? Mixing drinks like this? She was a stripper, bro. 
Yo, Maki. Maki, it's your turn. Because right now, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie, Maki. You're starting to lose me. <clears throat> With those thoughts swirling around my head, I drink the drink Tsumugi handed to me. Shuichi. Please, come again. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be back. Absolutely, bro. That's fucking fire, bro. Let's get it. Yo, Maki. It is your turn, Maki. Show me something. This is another set for photo shoots. It has quite the gothic feel. Damn, bro. <laughs> speaking of, speaking of Maki, uh, I just had a talk. Matter of fact, no, I didn't say anything. Never mind. Weirdo. There's an angel statue and a demon statue next to the stairs. Don't chapels usually have these? Hmm. Yeah. This place makes you feel like there is no god, but then there's this. Is that a coincidence or just Monokuma's sense of humor? That motherfucker does have a good sense of humor, I won't lie. Um, I'm not sure what that is, but I'm gonna go in here. Ooh, let's go! It's mine! Right. It's mine! Let's go! The our, This is mine! Finally, my lab! Let's go! This is such a stereotypical tech- <laughs> This is such a stereotypical lab, though. What is this? It's my lab! That's true. This looks like your research lab. Okay. It is, right? Uh, let's see what's in here, but I'm getting a bad feeling from this place. A bad feeling? What? What do you mean a bad feeling? Talk talk to me. What are you talking about? I knew. How did you know that this was the ultimate detective's lab? That's true. I can tell, just from looking. But this place doesn't match you at all. I think this lab is too good for some... <laughs> uh, you might be right. First I need a cloak and a d deer stalker. I don't understand. What? The clothes wouldn't even look good on you. It won't see you at all, so don't even try it. Is she saying I look good with what I'm in right now? I think she's saying I look good with what I'm in. I'm not gonna lie, Suichi is kind of dripped out, bro. Suichi is dripped I think Kokichi's the most dripped out, but Suichi is pretty dripped out. Bottles line the shelves behind the glass doors. Are these? It's poison. Got a minute? Alright, next kill is gonna be poison. It looks like poison. So you think so too, huh? That's true. There's no way that can be normal medicine in the ultimate detective's lab. She opened the cabinet glass door and peered inside. Mm. Yeah, I know what some of these are. They're definitely poison. Then, in that case, we should try to dispose of them. We don't want anyone accidentally. What's the point? Even if we get rid of them, Monokuma would just replace them. So it's useless doing that. It would only be a temporary solution. Damn! So the next death is gonna be poisoning, and they're gonna suspect me because it's in my room. A temporary solution? She wants to make sure no one will ever use them? By the way. Even so, I'm surprised they have so many in here. There's poison for instantaneous death as well, as ones that can inflict various symptoms. I don't know how you use them, you can set up different gimmicks. But this doesn't feel like an ultimate detective's lab. More like a criminal's lab. I see. It's a fine line when it comes to knowing everything about crimes. I suppose that's right. There's a fine line between criminal and detective. Alright, so someone's dying to some chemical. Hmm. There are a bunch of files lined up. It looks like about 50 of them. What are these files for? Picked one up at random and flipped through it. Huh? Ah! It contained photographs of murder scenes and the tricks the culprit used. Huh? What is this? I, hurried look I hurriedly looked through the other files and found that they were all similar. You don't know? It's a file containing all the tricks used for murders. That's... It appears so. Well... Did this incident really happen? No. I can't be sure, but there are pictures of the scene. And all of these cases seem feasible. Hmm. Feasible, huh? Then this would make a good guideline for anyone who wants to commit murder. I'm kidding. Well, I doubt anyone that's stupid to use a file that's accessible to everyone. Maki picked up a file at random and started flipping through it. Got a minute? Huh? This file doesn't have any photographs. It's all just drawn illustrations, but... Huh? Illustrations? Maki began pulling files one after the other off the shelf. Okay. The newer files have photographs, but the older ones have illustrations. Uh, but why? Um, Are the old ones just fictional? The first few files have only illustrations, but the others have photographs. Is there a reason for that? Beats me. Anyway, I've investigated all the places that concern me. Hmm. Everything here has to do with death. Because. Oh, that is your job as a detective, especially in this killing game. Uh, okay. I know. The only time I can use my detective talent is after someone dies. A detective can't save anyone. I'm only useful after it's already too late. It's kind of true, but Loki, he can save everyone because if it wasn't for him, they would all be dead anyway. Do you want to die? Huh? 
You'd kill me just for that? That's right. Nah, I understand why Maki Roll would say that. Your face looked pretty gloomy. Why are you creeping up on us in this room, dude? Why is he like... Bro, what are you doing? Kaito. What are you doing, bro? The face as gloomy as that, I can't believe you're my sidekick. Keep your chin up. Be more proud of yourself, Soichi. Everything you've done up till now is amazing. Uh, okay. Thanks. That's true. That's why you should be careful. Huh? huh? What do you mean? He's he's a prime suspect, she's saying. She's saying he's a prime suspect because this motherfucker be on top of this shit during the trials. You don't know? Because of how well you did in the class trials, future culprits have their eyes on you. The next culprit might come after you. Fucking try me, bro. Fucking try me. I dare someone to try me, bro. Huh? Come after me? Don't worry about Hey, you don't need to worry about that. I won't let anyone mess with my sidekick. Leave it to me. I'm gonna protect both of you. It's a hero's job to protect his sidekicks. I don't understand. What if I end up as a f what if I end up as a future culprit? Huh? Are you stupid? That's impossible. Ew. How can you believe people so easily? I believe in Didn't you. I tell you before? I believe in people I wanna believe in. And if they betray me, it just means I made a bad call believing in them. <laughs> of course, you're one of the people I want to believe in, Maki Roll. By the way, Why are you even here? Did you finish playing tag with Kokichi? I lost track of him. I can't find that guy anywhere. Uh, Couldn't find um, him, but he still has the motive card key, right? Uh, yeah, he should still have it. There's a chance that Kokichi could have used that card key and gone somewhere. Yeah. Well, he ended up getting away, but look what I found. Got it. It's the flashback light. Uh, ah, you found one? Of course. I am worried about Kokichi, but I think we should deal with this first. So let's all gather in the dining hall. What? Huh? I'm coming too? Why wouldn't uh. you come? Ah, uh, wait a minute. There are other places I want to check first. Can I meet up with you later? Uh. Oh, yeah. Then I'll go on ahead to the dining hall. Well... You're not going to check this place? I believe in I'll you. let Suichi handle it. You got this, right, Suichi? Uh, um... Yeah, right. Huh. Then once you're done, come to the dining hall. You didn't even complain. You seriously are his sidekick now. I can't even argue with that. What do you mean to complain about, bro? We, we, we have to see the flashback. Like, what do you, what do you want to complain about? Like, what the fuck? Bum, 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 bum. Even less green than last time. There's still maintenance going on. Hey. So what's the deal with this place anyway? What kind of facility was it before? Hmm. Are they removing an old facility? Perhaps constructing a new building? Yeah. At the start, Monokuma said they were supposed to be facilities for us. Fuck all y'all! It's obviously a lie. That plush bear is stuffed with lies and shit. Well... It is hard to imagine that they built this entire facility just for us. That's right. I used to think Monokuma was lying. He is an exceptionally de deceitful being. Uh... Being? Um. Well, he's a robot, isn't he? That's robophobic! <laughs> Suichi, have you been a robophobe this whole time? No. Ah, uh, no, that's not what I meant. I mean, technically, she, it, Monokuma is Junko, but when will we finally learn what this Ultimate Academy really is? Why does it exist? Is it just really a place for us to have the killing game? We're casted out in the middle of space, dude. Uh, you're probably here to just mourn Tanko. Yeah, she's starting at, staring at Tanko's lab. I should leave her alone. Hey, when is it, Suichi? Don't stare at me so much, or I'll become even more beautiful. Ah, uh, uh, I see. It... <laughs> is she embarrassed? Something she said about something she said herself? You. Did it look like I was blushing? Huh? What? You're right. Before no one could tell that I was blushing, right? Oh, that's right. I remember. It's becoming more and more be. Uh, really? Yeah, you looked a little embarrassed just now. <laughs> okay, then I'll keep at it. Himiko is really trying to change. Yo, why are they trying to push this Himiko x Suichi? Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it sure is quieter now that no one's yapping. A two of this, a two of that anymore. Facts, bruh, facts. I knew that fucking midget was running a goddamn cult. Uh. I mean, if there really was a god, he'd obviously make me the gorgeous girl genius his chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> that kooky fucking bitch. Nah, bro, she got a point. <laughs> she got a point. Alright, so I'm assuming this is gonna be Kokichi's lab, because we haven't even seen Kokichi's lab yet, and he's the only one. This, this is gonna be Kokichi's lab's area. The freak. <laughs> the, <laughs> the building's just combined! Ah! Ah, 
What did you do to my lab? It's going in super deep. <sighs> bro. Why are they always got... I, am I just hating, bro? Maybe I'm just hating because I'm not getting any action in this fucking killing game. I've gotten zero action so far. Except for that one little Tsumugi event, bro. I kind of got action. I'm positive the strange building is an ultimate lab. From the machines and the sci-fi feel, I've deduced this is Kibo's lab. All right. Let's check inside. Okay, I, I was thinking it would be Kokichi's because we haven't seen Kokichi's yet. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? It, it looks like a maintenance room for a robot. There are machine parts everywhere. I knew it. This is definitely Kibo's lab. How you feeling, Ki Key Dog? Whose lab is this? Huh? Huh? Isn't it yours? No way! I don't want this. <laughs> I don't like this sort of sci fi technology. Can we leave now? Is that alright? But I imagine that a lot of things in here would really help you out. You should take a look. No, I don't want to be assisted by sci-fi technology. We shouldn't rely on the power of sci-fi for anything. Wouldn't that include you, Kibo? That's right. Anyway, I would prefer a more Japanese theme since I like that food the most. Unfortunately. Even though I can only stare at it. That food does slap. So how could you prefer the food? <laughs> at the very least, I'd like some kimonos in my lab in a porch with wind chimes. Uh Okay. Yeah, that would be nice. Doesn't seem like Kibo is going to use his lab. Well, he's free to do as he pleases. Nothing I can do about that. Hmm. Alright, I finished investigating all the items this time. Kaido should be waiting in the dining hall. I should gather everyone there. What the fuck? I didn't even get to talk to Miyu! <laughs> I didn't even get to talk to Miyu! What was that? Or investigate anything? I didn't even get to talk to anybody or investigate anything. What was that? It just kicked me out. That's so stupid, bro. Alright! Alright, looks like everyone's here. Let's get started. Oh, oh, what about Kokichi? Yeah. <sighs> Forget about him. It's his fault for messing around like that. Mm. I guess he must be a real pro at hide and seek. With my Magically magic. looked all over the school, but he was nowhere to be found. What? Magically? Hmm. No one can find him, huh? Hey. He might have used the motive's card key to enter a place we're unaware of. Hmm. You think that's where the real motive is being kept? Either way, it's worrisome. <sighs> Next time I see him, I just gotta catch him and ash. Anyway, let's try out this flashback light. Actually, but I'm so uneasy about these flashback lights. Are they really okay to use? No. Well, if you don't use them, our memories will never come back, you know. Right. So we've got no choice but to use it. The memory we'll get from this is our only clue. Seriously? <laughs> I agree with fish sticks over here. What did you say? Who are you calling a chunk of breaded fish? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he goes. Okay. <laughs> For someone who looks like canned tuna, you make some pretty good comebacks. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, are you calling a lot of shredded fish? What was that? Wait, Kokichi? Hmm. I knew you'd find us here, but only because it's you. You got me. <laughs> thanks for the compliment. So why are all the merry friends gathered here? Is that all right? First things first. What did you do with that card key? Ah. Yeah, so you're worried about that? Well, relax. Unfortunately, I couldn't use the card key. Huh? You couldn't use it? Yeah. Yeah, I had no idea where to use it, so I just gave up instead. But... You don't seem too disappointed about not being able to use it. I am disappointed! Damn it! I wanted to use that card key! Yeah. Smell another fucking lie. Cut it out. Whatever. Talking to him's a waste of time. You know... We've got more important things to do. Ah. Oh, hey, the flashback... My bad, guys, it's late. I'm not really that tired, I'm just a little fatigued. The flashback light? Let me see that. Kaido doesn't have the balls to turn on the switch. <laughs> <laughs> of course I do! Egg down by Kokichi, Kaido thumbed the switch hard. What are we gonna see, bro? And once again, the world warped. Alright, let's see, bro. What we got? They about to show, show us some crazy shit, bro. Show me some crazy shit. Please, show me something interesting, man. Don't show me more teasing bullshit. Get right to the chase. The scenes that flew by inside my conscious. What it all means. All at once, I... I remembered. Ah, the meteorites. What happened with the meteorites? That was it? That was it? That's all they showed us? I remember. TV news and the internet talking non-stop about these meteorites. What was that? There was a bunch of damage where I lived. People said it was only a matter of time. Okay. 
A researcher said that too. Similar meteorite impacts happened millions of years ago. A living organism, all living organisms on Earth were annihilated. So... There were also a bunch of weird groups that started to show up in the streets. As the meteorites got worse, more people started saying it was the end of the world. That's, that's, by the way, that's Tokyo. <laughs> that's literally Japan. That's literally Tokyo, Japan. Going to hear that too. Unless someone does something, world will end. What? Those people were... Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> Always handing out flyers on street corners. I saw flyers all over the city too. They said mankind deserves damnation. Mankind deserves damnation? I remember seeing those posters, but... This still doesn't make any sense to me, bro. Hold on! And the meteorites! What ended up happening with the meteorites? We haven't seen any since we got here. Maybe they died down. I, d I think we're on a different planet, bro. What? What happened to that plan? The one to save the the one to save the world from meteorites? Could it be? Oh right, I just remembered that. It was called the Gopher Project, right? It was a plan that all countries of the world came up with to save humanity. But. I remember that too, but the Gopher Project, didn't it fail? What? Is that true? That's true. That's what I heard too, but I can't remember why. What's that mean? So, we can't remember anything past that again? Uh, okay. I can't either. I don't remember anything about the Gopher. <laughs> <laughs> Mankind deserves damnation? Huh? Me? <laughs> <laughs> Mankind deserves damnation? Fuck that! We're already on? damned here! Being stuck here with you losers is the worst hell there is! You. You losers part wasn't necessary. Ah! Shut up! I'm tired of this! Let us out of here! Let's, let us out of here! Let us out! Come on, don't leave us in here! Pull us out! Seems like... She seems really upset! What happened? Mew, calm down! It's okay! Gonzo will protect you! In the end, the flashback light didn't help. It didn't connect to the other memories. <clears throat> the ultimate hunt that was after us. Were you guys the cause of this fucking world, bro? The joint funeral? The meteorites, the cult organization, the gopher project? How are they all connected? How do they relate to the ultimate academy? What happened with all those meteorites? Did they just stop? Shuichi. It'll be okay, Suichi. Just a little more. Huh? Huh? See? We probably need one more. Everything will start to connect after we remember one more thing. One more thing. What is Kukichi talking about another kill? But... But I don't think I'll be su I'd be surprised by the outcome of this situation. Like, if we're actually all dead. And this was the afterlife. Huh? The afterlife. Always messing around. Oh, why you? Quit saying stupid crap like that! It's not stupid. If meteorites can happen, then anything else can happen, too. Because... Come on, you're an astronaut, aren't you? Space is full of mysteries that we can't even fathom. Well, you know. That's why, if the meteorites really did fall on us, anything could have happened. A mysterious virus could have spread, or some weird technology. Whoa, they predicted the future. <laughs> or, or even an unknown substance brought to Earth that could have bent time and space. Yeah. It's, that's like science fiction. I thought our theme was magic. Uh, that's just your theme, Himiko. Seriously? Come on. <laughs> That's just stupid. It's like the setting of some third-rate anime or game. Mm -hmm. We are in an anime. Do you think I'm making this up? But then how would you explain the flashback, flashback lights, mantises, and even Monokuma? We may be used to it now, but what, that kind of stuff goes against common sense, you know? <laughs> Which means it wouldn't be too far-fetched if any of the things I mentioned actually happened. Shut up! Shut up! First off, I'm the only one here who gets to talk about space. My bad. Oh, you're right. Sorry. My bad. What did I do? Whatever. Just hurry up so I can get out of here. Wait. Stop. You shouldn't think like that about getting out of here. <sighs> Everyone seems very tired. We should probably disperse for the time being. <laughs> oh, you finally learned to read the air? Nice job, robot. I'll commit that to my memory. <laughs> I'm learning every day. Hey. Oh, before we go, I'm going to put manhole cover back now how it was. Cause going to gentlemen. If we want to challenge underground again, 
This time, going to definitely. You're so dumb. <laughs> no one's dumb enough to challenge that dump again. Shut up! Don't look down on hard work. Yeah. <clears throat> Himiko, you've really changed. <clears throat> is what I'd like to say, but working hard at escaping from there is pointless. Like I thought. Well, <laughs> no matter how much you've changed, of course you'd think that. We can't keep going like this. We need to find a way out. We need to solve all of these mysteries. After our conversation, we return to our rooms. I'm back to Moogie. A biohazard from a mysterious virus spreading, infecting people with an unknown disease? For the time being, I think I'll stock up on herbs. Should I hang out with Tamugi? Yes, bro. Get, let her get another drink for you. They stimulate natural healing and are a cure-all. They're dangerously effective. It's a mystery how they're made or even how they're used. Oh, sorry. I was talking about games. Let her stir you up another drink, bro. I spent some time with Tsumugi. What is this? You'd give this to me? Thank you, thank you so much. Those are the only words I can say. We All right. Like I promised, today is the Cosplay's fun episode. Yes! <laughs> Tsumugi seemed pretty energized. I wonder what she has in store for me. Uh, first, I'll tell you the wor words of wisdom from my cosplay friends. Right? You make the size of your eyes up. Huh? What? Um. Makeup. Makeup's pretty much like drawing a picture on your face. You can make someone look like a completely different person with makeup. Uh, um, uh, I see. With, with makeup, some guys can crossplay so well, it makes me feel like I've lost as a woman. Huh? They crossplay? You're right! They're so cute! I don't think twice seeing them in the women's restroom. Wait! B but they shouldn't be in there in the first place, right? Yeah! Cons can get super chaotic, hot guys coming out of the women's restroom and vice versa. I can imagine it gets pretty chaotic. That reminds me! Oh, and I should show you pictures of cosplayers reenacting scenes. Uh, they reenact scenes? What do you mean? Yeah, whoa, what do you mean, reenact scenes? It's when people cosplaying characters from the same work get together. And then they try to reenact famous scenes from their work. I thought they were talking about something else, bro. You're right! But 2D poses aren't the same as 3D, of course. In order to reproduce them, sometimes you need super weird setups. Uh, like step stools, people holding you up, or especially unladylike poses. I shouldn't ask. No, you should ask. Oh. Well, that about covers it. But I've been talking about the whole. But I've been talking the whole time. Is there something you want to hear about? It must be hard to keep that figure. What's it like to draw a crowd? Bring, being on location must be fun. Okay. Being on locations must be fun. Yeah. Yeah, going on location makes you feel like you really are that character. It's actually pretty fun trying to find good locations for photo shoots. Like when you find the pla a place that's just perfect, a sacred place for cosplay. Uh, oh, but of course you need to make sure it's okay to take pictures there. Hey, which locations was the most fun for you? Uh, well, I wouldn't say fun, but the one that left the biggest impression is an event at a theme park where I was cosplaying a character from a kids show. All the kids there kept yelling, "Do your special move!" <laughs> the other cosplayers and I tried to do the poses, but the kids didn't like them. So I ended up practicing them a bunch. It turned into a good learning experience. Smoogie is having so much fun explaining all this. I'm having fun too. What? We didn't get to do anything, bro. I didn't get to cosplay. What? Didn't let me fucking cosplay. Fuck, it's nighttime. Are you serious? It's already nighttime? We only hung out with one person. I should have hung out with Maki. Bro, I only hung out with one person, man. What was that? Well, <clears throat> it's time for training. All right, to the courtyard. Hmm. Uh, Gonta. Oh. Oh, Soichi, you should go back to Rome. It's nighttime. Thank you. Uh, it's just that I promised to meet up with Kaido and Maki. Oh. Oh. Going to see what? <laughs> um, Angie's gone, and student council not around anymore. But Gonta still think it best not to go out at nighttime. Cause Ryoma got killed at nighttime, and Angie's and Angie too. You're right. I, I understand. That's true. But the promise I made to Kaido is really important to me. I can't break it. I promise. I promise. I'll go right back afterwards, and I'll make sure we stick together. Oh. Gonta careless just now. Gonta not know you make such important promise to Kaido. Gonta so useless. Uh, no, no, um... not at all. Gonta, don't worry about it. We all know how much you care about us. Are you okay? Gonta. Mm. Switchy. Gonta come to decision. Huh? What have you decided? Um, well... No. Actually, Gonta will tell everyone tomorrow, when everyone together. 
Gonta will sleep good tonight and prepare for tomorrow. Good night. Ah, oh. oh, yeah. Good night, Gonta. All right. I wonder what he decided. Well, we'll find out tomorrow. Shuichi. Ah, good. You're here, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's been so long since the three of us have done this. That's true. It's because Kaido was scared of ghosts. Whoa. I wasn't scared. Wait, don't make me think about them. When I first met Maki and Kaido, I never could have imagined hanging out like this. All right. Anyway, let's get started. First off, 100 sit-ups. You guys better get pumped up. Sit-ups? Why sit-ups? Three of us lined up on the grass and started our routine. Smart being on the grass, though, because that shit will hurt your back. One. Two. Three. Now, if we're talking about sit-ups, I can easily do 100 sit-ups. If we're talking about sit-ups, I could actually do 100 sit-ups easily, bro. 25, 26, 27, 28. You, you are so Maki, you're way too fast. She is fast, bro. When you really think about it, the universe is impossibly fast. This motherfucker not even doing them, bro. He's just sitting there. And she's still doing- I could sit here all day and she would do th a thousand, bro. Hey, less talking, more working. What about your sit-ups? Facts. Kaito? Uh, yo, Kaito. Oh my god. Maki's still doing fucking sit-ups. Maki's still- Keta's still up slowly. His body resisted. Hesitant. Sorry, gotta use the bathroom. Are you serious, bro? Kaito slowly began walking away toward the school building. I wonder what's wrong. He's not in much of a hurry needing to go to the bathroom. That's true. Do you want me to check on him? I just finished doing my 100 sit-ups. Huh? Already? But... Uh, but maybe you shouldn't go because it's the boys' bathroom? Hmm. Did that not occur to you? Did you want to die? What? Did that not occur to you? Sorry. Sorry? Sure. Well, whatever. it's fine. By the way... By the, by the way, this seems like a good time to ask, but... Well... Did you like Kaede? What's she trying to say, bro? Is she trying to... I see what she's trying to... She's trying to... Yo, she's spinning game. So, I... Since I'm ultimate psychic, since I have really good intuition, and since I'm able to read people's emotions very well, she's... Like, that... She got that... Oh, fuck. She's trying to find out where I'm... Like, emotionally, she's trying to figure out where I, where I stand as far as relationships go. Um, with, with the students in here. She just doesn't know how to ask straightforward. She doesn't know how to ask, like, you know, who I'm who I'm close with, who I can trust, that sort of stuff. Did you like Kaede? Huh? Uh-huh. Don't lie, Suichi. You, you definitely did. I assumed you didn't, because that would be weird. Uh, what do you mean, um, weird? How'd that I be weird? Like someone you just met, especially in a situation like this? Oh, liking someone you just met. No, we definitely, bro. We, yeah, we definitely liked each other, bro. Then, and tell, then tell me, under what circumstances is liking someone not weird? Huh? <sighs> I, I don't know. I don't really understand what that is. Nope. Never mind. Just forget I ever ask. No. Forget you asked. Why did you bring this up, Maki? You know why she brought it like up. I'd know. No reason. I was only curious. Nah, she was not curious, bro. She. Huh? No reason. Um, Maki, you're being cruel. You ask me a personal question, then act like you don't care? Got it. Hey, were you guys making out while I was gone? I fucking wish. Perfect timing as always, Kaido. Uh, anyway, um, what's wrong, Kaido? Why did you leave all of a sudden? Uh, I drank too much water before training, but I emptied myself out, so I'm good now. Let's go. So let's continue where we left off. Let's get pumped up for sure this time. Well... Continue? I don't recall you doing even one yet, Kaido. So from the beginning, of course, you guys are gonna restart with me. I already finished doing my 100. Huh. <laughs> don't be so cold. No road is long with good company, right? <laughs> I don't think that phrase applies to this. Here we go. Let your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worry, and hardships. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. He's, he's speaking bull. Then you should train too. Yo! Look at Suichi doing them though, bro. I'm, I'm even Maki not doing them. Let's go, Suichi. Well, I don't have anything to worry about. Cause I mean, I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Hey, no fair, Kaito. Bro, even fucking even Suichi's doing them. In the end, Kaito convinced us to do all our sit-ups over. But Kaito and I had to give up, and only Maki was able to finish. 
What happened today? But there's still something bothering me. Hmm. That flashback light this afternoon. All those meteorites? The Gopher Project? The mysterious cult organization. Are they connected to the ultimate hunt, or the funeral, or the killing game? Those answers might save us. But no matter how hard I try to solve it, it's all a mystery. Thinking about everything I saw, I had fallen asleep before I knew it. I'm not sure what- is that Saw? I'm not sure what the reference that is. Oh my god. I was about to end it. I'm assuming this is Kaido. Heroes shouldn't be asleep on the job, it's pathetic. <laughs> Why is he in my room, bro? What the fuck is- No! Huh? Monokuma? Yeah. Nice face, Suichi! You definitely look your best in the morning! Morning? You could look better, though. I'm pretty picky about people's morning faces. Hmm. What are you doing here? Yeah. How rude. My time is very valuable, you know? Since you fell asleep, still clutching the love key, I went out of my way to come wake you. I really wish you were more appreciative. Uh, what? Uh. Love key? You mean this thing I won at the casino? Yep, yep! I'll tell you how to use it! Huh? How to use it? What? <laughs> that key opens the way to a very special place. A place you might have seen... Oh, this is... My bad. <clears throat> a place you might have seen in the vicinity of the casino. Hint, hint. Oh, right, that building. I suppose it would have this kind of key. <laughs> you look like you figured it out! Good, a healthy teenager's brain is supposed to be obsessed with sex and lust. That key you got there should help you clear out some of those carnal desires. What? Huh? What? Oh, are you starting to get worked up? Are you ready to let it all hang out? Now then, please read the instructions. It's time for the talk, the love key talk. <laughs> what the fuck? This is not... <laughs> Okay, so for those of you who don't understand, I bought the love key because, first of all, it was ten fucking thousand. But I bought the love key because it. I looked up everybody's gifts on- I looked up online, the Danganronpa wiki. I looked up every single person's gifts, what they like. And everybody likes the love key, or at least I know Maki liked the love key, and I'm pretty sure everybody likes the love key. Everybody- you can use the love key on everybody uh, to get the perfect gift. Because there's good gifts, there's like the perfect gifts, and then there's bad gifts. And so I, I'm trying to give Maki the perfect gifts, and I know the key is fine for that, but I I guess that's not what I'm supposed to use it for. This is a key that is used to unlock this love suite. When night falls, you and one other person will be invited to the love suite. There you will be part of that person's fantasy. I don't want to do that shit. They will see you as their ideal and basically just swoon all over you. Think of it as a kind of dream that lets you escape this cruel dark reality. That's why it's so important to play the role that person wants you. Man, we do not have time for this, Suichi. We do not have time for this horny ass shit, bro. We have to- this is a killing game, bro. Oh, you seem skeptical. Why don't you try it out for yourself, then? No, I don't want to. Go ahead, take that love key out for a spin. I don't want to, bro. Looking forward to it. It'll make you sweeter than a bear's honey- honey pot. I don't want to. Does, does it gonna- is it gonna make me do it? I watched Monokuma's ba Monokuma bounce away, stunned. The key felt heavy in my hand. Hmm. I suppose it couldn't hurt. No, no! I don't want to do it, bro! No! Yeah, thank you, no! No, I'm not using the love key, bro. All right, look, bro. If you guys want me to use the love key, like the video. That's all you gotta do. I'll use the next uh, chance they give, they make me, uh, or the next chance they give me to use the love key, I'll use it. But for now, I feel like that's fucking pointless. It's just gonna be fan service. And I don't care, as much as I, okay, look, I joke around a lot. I joke around about Maki and Tsumugi and all this. Like, I joke around, but it's really all jokes. It's entertainment. But, I, I mean, I, it's kind of true, though. <laughs> but, uh, everything I say is, it's true, but it's entertainment, it's all jokes and stuff. Um... But yeah, that just feels like a, an utter waste of time, and that just, I don't know. And if it gets a lot of likes, if it gets more likes than usual, then I'll use the key. Uh, the next opportunity they give me, I'll use the key, and that'll be that. <laughs> but for now, I'm not going to use the key, because I really still don't even know exactly what it's for, and I don't know what I'm going to be looking at, and I don't even know if I could show it on YouTube as well. That's another thing. I don't even know if it's going to let me show it on YouTube, so. Anyway, that is going to be all for today's Dangin' Rampa V3 episode. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. If you disliked it, hit that dislike button. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content. I post pretty much every single day. We are going to be doing much more variety this week, as well as continuing Dangin. I believe this is the final episode, the final video. I'm, yeah, this is the final video. I'm going to film today. It's 9 p.m. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, folks, capture moments, create memories. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.